Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Um, I make a request under Standing Order 52 with respect to an emergency debate on NAFTA on trade with the United States and the overall special relationship which is tattered at the moment with the United States and the ability for all parliamentarians to speak to this before we rise for the summer. As you know, Mr. Speaker, we're quickly approaching the one-year mark uh, for the commencement of formal uh, negotiations to modernize NAFTA. There's been multiple rounds. All sides appreciate the tremendous work done by the Canadian negotiation team, but NAFTA has been at a standstill in terms of the negotiations, uh, Mr. Speaker, and in recent months, in fact, we've been seeing setbacks and not moves forward. Complicating this, Mr. Speaker, if it weren't already complicated enough with the U.S. trade relationship being our most critical economic relationship uh, in our country, the President's use, misuse, I would suggest, of Section 232 exemptions under the Trade Expansion Act for steel and aluminum has further clouded and complicated talks in relation to trade with the United States. The imposition of a 10 per cent tariff on aluminum, Mr. Speaker, and a 25 per cent tariff on steel runs contrary to the history of our great countries and the integration of our economies and certainly clouds the negotiation table for NAFTA. It is spiraling from there, Mr. Speaker, because now we are a few days away from the imposition of reciprocal tariffs in the billions of dollars range that Canada is making as a retaliatory measure uh, in relation to the steel and aluminum tariffs, Mr. Speaker. We support Canada being strong in the face of unreasonable demands by the United States and the inappropriate use of security and national security exemptions with respect to commodities that since the last war, the aluminum from Canada has provided the, the body of fighter aircrafts that both Canadian and American pilots have flown in defense of our countries and in defense of North America through NORAD, Mr. Speaker. The unique security partnership hasn't been focused on enough to show how ridiculous the application of Section 232 is with respect to Canada. The reciprocal tariffs, though, Mr. Speaker, will complicate all manufacturing industries in Ontario because a lot of the component parts for assembly, whether it's in the auto industry or for companies like General Dynamics, use steel American imports. So already on both sides of the border, we're going to see jobs at risk, we're going to see higher prices for, for consumers, and we're going to see the Canada and U.S. economies becoming uncompetitive. Why does this warrant a special debate under Section or Understanding Order 52, Mr. Speaker? There are almost 2 million jobs directly tied to exports to the United States. And once our tariffs are imposed on July 1st, there is the possibility that the President of the United States has already alluded to of a 25 per cent tariff on finished vehicles, Mr. Speaker. In Ontario, in communities like mine in, in the Oshawa area, historically, since the auto pact between our countries started free trade between Canada and the U.S., over 80 per cent of the vehicles assembled in Ontario in communities like Windsor, Oakville, St. Catharines, Oshawa, 80 per cent of those vehicles have been for export to the United States. And with just-in-time manufacturing, often parts and assembly have crossed our border on an integrated fashion as much as seven times before the completion of a vehicle. Tariff imposition of this nature would be devastating for the auto industry in Ontario. And by extension, after our resource industry, this is the most critical contributing sector to our gross domestic product, Mr. Speaker. There has never been such a looming threat to the Canadian economy than the threat we're looking at now, based in large part on a number of unreasonable and unfair demands by the U.S. administration. And that is why we need an emergency debate. It's late in the year. I know many of us want to get back to our ridings, but we owe it to Canadians to have a serious plan articulated in this House by the government. And we owe it to all parliamentarians. With over 2 million jobs, Mr. Speaker, every riding in this House 
is impacted directly by trade with the United States. Every parliamentarian should be able to be part of Team Canada, Mr. Speaker. Team Canada is more than a hashtag. It's the ability for us to provide ideas, support, proposals to the government. It's also incumbent on the government to present to Parliament before we rise a clear plan on the reciprocal tariffs of July 1st and what plan will be in place if auto tariffs are imposed by the President. This debate would also allow the government to provide confidence to the workers that are already being impacted in the steel and aluminum industries and provide a plan and a sense of calm ahead of the potential for auto tariffs, Mr. Speaker. This is about Parliament at, at its best, where our, all parliamentarians from both sides can speak to probably the biggest potential economic crisis we've seen in my lifetime, Mr. Speaker, and your lifetime, Mr. Speaker. Parliamentarians need to be able to debate this in a way where we can truly forge a Team Canada approach, and Canadians need to see their parliamentarians seized with this because this House will not sit again till September, and Canadians need to know that all MPs are concerned and are going to fight for Canada's interests. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.